Good morning, grade 11s. Today we have to do note 7 and note 8 for the statement of financial position. You will have to follow this video recording or this PowerPoint recording closely because this is completely new work. You have never done a note 7 and a note 8 in the way that the partnership note 7 and 8 will be. Note 7 has to do with the capital contributions of the partners. You need a column for each of the partners and obviously a column for the total. You always start with the balance on the last day of the previous year or the balance at the beginning of this year because the end of last year and the beginning of this year is exactly the same amount. These balances will normally be supplied, but you will have to read in your adjustments if there was anything that you had to subtract from the opening balances. Then what can happen with capital this year? That they can either the partner can either contribute or he can withdraw capital. If he contributes, you write the amount he has contributed in his column and then you get your total contribution for this year. Remember, you now have to do this calculation before you need to report if any of the partners decreased his capital. If the capital is decreased, the amount of that decrease of the capital must be in brackets. You need to write in the total column and then you do your calculations again. This, the total amount, is the amount that would appear inside your statement. That is the total of the two partners and capital contribution on the last day of the financial year. Right, now we get to the note Eight, which is the note for the current accounts. This is the most important new note. Where do this note start? First of all, you need to have a column for partner A, partner B and total. You always start any note with the balance at the beginning of this year or the end of last year. That balance will be supplied. If the current account has a credit balance, then you need to write it as a positive amount. That 50,000 Rand actually indicates that this partner has an additional 50,000 Rand invested in the partnership. This is not capital. This is money that he was supposed to take out of the partnership as his profit for the past few years, money he has not taken yet. So the partnership owes him this money. If the current account has a debit balance, then that amount must be written in brackets. This debit balance indicates that partner B has taken 7,500 Rand more of the profit appropriated to him than what he was supposed to take. So he actually owes this money to the partnership. Total column, you just need to add the two. Now, before we come to net in profit as per income statement, we first have to check and see what did the partners earn from the partnership. You know that partners can earn a salary. We will have to give you this amount or you must be able to calculate that. The same with interest on capital. We have to give or you calculate. Bonus on pop for partners is exactly the same. You need to add these amounts to get your primary distribution of the profit. So primary distribution is salaries, interest on capital, and bonuses. As soon as you have your primary distribution, just like you did with the appropriation account, you now have to do the final distribution of profit. That part of the profit that is shared to the partner as the remaining profit, normally in a ratio, but we've practiced that when we did the appropriation account. Remember, this note is basically the appropriation account, few things, the appropriation account, and then also drawings. In this case, 
the prophet is shade. Now you do. You have to add the primary distribution. You add plus the final distribution to get the net profit. That part of the net profit that this partner is going to receive. The same here. This was his primary distribution. That means salary, capital and bonus. Plus the remaining profit you add. And you write your answer at the top. Obviously, as you can see here, this partnership had 100,000 rand as profit. That 100,000 rand will now be shared in a certain way. How did we share it? We gave each partner got a salary. Each partner received interest. There was also a bonus and the remaining profit was shared. That is how we shared the 100,000 rand. That 100,000 rand comes from the statement of comprehensive income, the income statement, all from the profit and loss account. Are you fine so far? Right, now, next step. The drawings for the year, we have to supply this. So what does drawings mean? Drawings is, means it's money the partner took during this year. The partner is not supposed to take more than what his, his share of profit is. As you can see, partner A's share of the profit is 63,500. That is his share of the profit. He withdrew 66,500. That means he took more money that he was, than what he was supposed to take. So he doesn't have an undrawn profit. He actually took more, so he now owes this partnership 3,000 rand. Partner B was supposed he could have taken 36,500. He took 32,000. So he still have 4,500 rand left of this year's profit that he can actually withdraw. Again, the total column. How do I get balance at the end of the year? This partner started with a balance of 50,000. He took 3,000 rand too much. So at the end of the year, he still has 47,000 available in his current account. That is his money, but he, does, he didn't take it yet out of the current account. Partner B started with a minus 7,500. Fortunately for us, this year he did not take all his share of the profit, so he's leaving 4,500 behind. Still owes 3,000 rand. What is the total of the current account? The two current accounts, it's 44,000. In the next slide, you're going to see what, have, what is the effect of these two notes on the, the financial statement itself. So the effect of these two notes on the financial statement, the statement of financial position, you now have an owner's equity part that consists out of capital and out of current accounts. Capital you'll find in note 7 in the total column and current accounts in note 8 in the total column. You need to add these two and you write the answer always at the top of the block. Remember, like Remora, always on top, near the inside. So you total, you write the answer on top. I'm going to give you a homework exercise just to practice note 7 and note 8, and then we're going to start practicing the statement of financial position, the whole one with all the notes and the whole um, statement. You must keep well, stay safe. Goodbye.